so one of our favorite segments, Weather Whiz Kids. Is back. But of course, Scott tonight is saying that these are Whiz Whiz Kids. Like <laughs> she went to, where was it, Monroe Elementary? Monroe Elementary. In Boise and came back just singing the praises of these children. Sure. So I guess we need to sing the praises of their teachers as well. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, they've got their hands full because they've <laughs> got to know their stuff because these guys are doing a lot of research. I heard some questions. We were covering things that we covered my first year in college. Wow. And they were wow. understanding it. At least they told me they were. No, I think they were <laughs> understanding it because they were giving me the information back. It's pretty impressive. So here's uh, one of the questions having to do with snow and hail. Hi, my name is Amy from Monroe Elementary. My weather question is how is snow and hail formed differently? Amy, great question. And that question comes in a lot. How is snow different from hail? How do they form? Do they form differently? And they certainly do. Well, there's different kinds of snow types. When it's dry outside, we get powdery snow. And you ever notice when it gets wetter outside, we get uh, that s the snowflakes are thicker? Well, it has a lot to do with temperature. And the way snowflakes form, there's all kinds of physics going on in the atmosphere. Here's a photograph taken uh, by a friend of mine in Meridian. And I've shown you this picture before. It's just amazing. These are actual snowflakes that fell right around New Year's Day this past year. And you can see the crystals. This is kind of what we draw the snowflakes, what they look like. These are what we call dendrites here. And snowflakes form from ice crystals coming together and growing as opposed to hail forming from a snowflake that melts, turns into water, and then freezes solid and then gets more water freezing around it. So the snowflake here, basically what has to happen in the atmosphere, there's moisture in the air in the form of liquid. Even though the temperature is below freezing, it's super cooled water, if it's cold enough, enough, ice crystals will form immediately, but basically what happens is, is the ice crystal will form around a piece of dust, almost microscopic, you can barely see it, and then the snowflakes and the crystals form and they grow and they grow and they grow, and that's how a snowflake is formed. It's a real pretty sight when you see it here. No two snowflakes are alike because there's so much going on in a snowflake, and there's all different kinds of shapes as well. There's needles, uh, hollow columns, solid prisms, solid plates here, but these are the popular ones, the dendrites that really pile up. When it comes to a hailstone again we may have snow falling from a cloud it'll drop down below uh, the freezing line basically is where it gets warm enough that snowflake will then melt but strong updrafts here as you can see will take those raindrops back up to where it's cold enough so then the, the raindrop now refreezes it won't go into a snowflake it goes into a an ice pellet that just gets larger and larger as more water goes around as the hailstone gets thrown around in the cloud it gets layers of water and eventually the hailstone is so big it will then fall out of the cloud because there's not enough of an updraft to hold that hailstone and the large hailstones, which you don't get around here, can be just amazing and with you see it right in here. We're talking like six inches across. This is one of the largest hailstones ever recorded. If we were to slice this in half, you'd almost see tree rings in here, just like tree rings, I should say, as the hailstone grows as it goes through more layers of the atmosphere. So a great question. I hope that yeah. explains the difference from hail to snow. Wow, so what kind of an updraft do you have to have to hold that up? That's we're talking we're talking 60 mile an hour, 70 mile an hour updrafts going into a thunderstorm. Absolutely. Wow. And that's what causes it to interesting. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, I like Scott. it.